What's up, positive people? You got Dana here, and I am at the house. So the high today is going to be 78 degrees, and as a result, I want to knock out a couple loads of laundry. And a couple loads of laundry isn't very much laundry around here. We're like the same things to work all the time. I'm actually slowly in the process of just being like Doug or Hey Arnold, like these people that just have 10 of the same outfit. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to express my style at work. <laughs> I don't feel the need. And I noticed that I, because I was spending so much of my money on good workloads that I never had money for clothes to go out in. And as a result, I was going out less. Now that's something that I realized over time. It's also something that I realized every time I did have an occasion because it's really easy for me to dress up for like a laid back occasion but i actually used to be like the girly girl who got glammed up and i like that from time to time especially during the summer i live for a nice dress jean jacket moment you know what i'm saying live for a shorts and crop top moment you know just summer vibes and ever since i started like slowly switching out all like my work shirts to thrifted stuff i just feel better about the amount of money being spent and everything and also, for a while, when I was buying my work clothes, my weight fluctuated. I'm sure if y'all were watching the channel, I say two years ago, you'll realize that I'm significantly smaller than then. I do want to get some of that weight back. Obviously, not all of that weight back. But for now, I'm small. So, we're rocking with that. <laughs> with it being up to 78 degrees today, while I'm gone at work, while everybody's gone, I figure I'm going to let everything air dry. And by the time we all show back up here, everything will be clean, you know, ready to just fold and put away. So, I just like, you know, getting stuff done when I see that there's a perfect opportunity. So, I'm probably going to just pull my blinds back and let a lot of light come in i'm on the second floor so i'm not worried about someone like coming into my place but yeah i want to use up all this light and hang up some of my clothes i'm like killing two birds with one stone so yeah if you're wondering about that annoying sound in the background is my portable washing machine i'm working on a load of marley stuff right now i gotta switch the way i'm doing things we're getting all this freaking sun which I'm here for, I'm not mad at. I'm gonna get all the color that I lost from San Diego. I appreciate that. It's just that I didn't have fan spot. I didn't do all of the things you need to do to prep for summer. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how the next week or so goes. Cause I don't get paid until mid next week. Sort out extra fans and things until then. There's two fans in the house now. One that's I, and then another that's like pretty solid. And what I want to do is get a second of the one that we really like, but in a larger size. That way Marley can keep the small one and then I can have the bigger one with me. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It's hot as hell. It totally changes how I'm going to be doing my makeup because you, you need way less. I'm probably going to NYX shadow. Yeah, man, it's hot and... There's no need for us to be crazy dramatic with what we got going on because it's just going to melt away anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. I have been in very good spirits lately because I'm just re-energized, refocused, and really committing to my passions. Something that I just wasn't doing in my 20s because I was too busy being damn insecure. And it's like when you do that for an entire decade, you want to see what doing the exact opposite will be like those last couple of years i used to make blocks all the time about getting out of my head getting out of my head getting out of my head now i'm genuinely just trying to act on that mantra you know what i'm saying just act on getting out of my way out of my own head not being a self-saboteur with that in mind i want to go ahead and say that in the last video that I brought up my journal. Punky brought up a really interesting point that if I wasn't going to do the exercises for week two in the way that the journal asked, that I justify why I felt they would not work. And just in the moment of being asked that question, I had to look at myself and go, you know what? If this whole creativity book is about tapping into that, why aren't you 
fully tapping in why aren't you doing the exercises it's like if you go and see a therapist and they tell you okay i want you to go home and i want you to think of maybe if you're trying to deal with grief or something like that or deal with some sort of a trauma i want you to you know think of it in this way and do x y and z things and all of this stuff and it's it's like you saying oh i'm gonna change it to work within what i feel is comfortable and i will say that i'm not comfortable right now with holding on to things for sentimental value i guess everything that i have in my life right now i feel like either serves a purpose or is there for inspiration aesthetically so it's not like i don't have things that are meant to you know, spark creativity but yeah i have little decorations and things that i use to you know make me feel better well i wanted to show you some of the things that i think maybe fit this description but i also when I get paid, I want to go thrift. So I made thrift for some things as well because now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like maybe I could work on my set and that's something that won't be adding clutter to my space and all of that. But like, for example, I have this neon peace sign and it's the tagline to the, to the channel, you know what I'm saying? It was just cool to have this, you know, I wear my little peace necklace every day. So that just reminds me of what it all comes down to and it's a philosophy that anybody can get behind, you know what I'm saying? That's not a political stance, that's not a religious stance, you know, that's not a cultural stance. I just feel like, you know, that's, that's something anybody can get behind. And then I've got like my Atlanta candle, my homesick Atlanta candle that I never burned, which I just need to get a second one of these so I can actually burn it because it smells so good. And there are so many notes that do remind me of Georgia. There's like honeysuckle in there and what smells like it could be sweet potato pie is probably pumpkin pie. But yeah, love my little Atlanta homesick candle. And again, that's like that essence, that Southern essence. I personally feel like I could have more Southern elements in my home. I also feel like I could have more African elements in my home. And... I think that my house could probably be a bit more decorated and a bit more indicative of the fact that there are creative people staying within its walls. I got one foot in and one foot out the door when it comes to this place and it shows and I gotta stop it. So I'm gonna try to take this mess more seriously. While I got y'all on the horn though, I will talk to y'all about week three because I was supposed to be done with week two but as we all know i wasn't taking week two seriously so the next time we talk about this uh secret three is following your fascinations so that should be you know a fun chapter i'm excited um i know that i have a lot of work to do as an individual i know i do you know if i want to get ahead in this life i know that i gotta figure out the internal stuff and I'm figuring it out, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to other coworker and just sorting through the stuff that happened last week and she was just telling me to not be too hard on myself. Apparently she got a passive aggressive letter too once when a customer complained about her, but apparently you only get those kind of letters with so-and-so once you fired and it's like, whatever. Um, it doesn't change my attitude about my job like I know I need to get the hell on and again I think you know I think I'm I'm trying to jump off this you know plateau that I've been on I really just want to switch it up this year I want to be able to look back on 2019 and go girl you did so many things different and look at all the things that manifested as a result of you just trying a little damn harder you know what I'm saying presenting your best self look at that you know people finally got to see what you're made of what you're capable of because you gave them that so it's gonna be good I got a lot of stuff that I just want to sort out change up you know just want to do things different you know to get it get it done different and all that so um i ain't gonna hold y'all this video is getting long-winded i'll see y'all in a couple days till later peace positive people Ooh, shaky all right this concludes the vlog for the day i did a very simple face i used what is this this is the mile high club by wander beauty volume and length mascara on 
the lashes and I like this stuff it's a little vampier I don't have anything on my eyes so I wanted a vampier eye just to punch the eyes up thickened up the brows because again this is a really basic face so I'm depending on uh, what God gave me for the most part <laughs> to accentuate this look um I did the skin chemists uh what is this? The Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. And then I followed over that with this prickly pear. I forget the brand and all of that. I forget which box this came out of. But this has a very uh, light pink tint on it. And I think that's a nice, you know, way to just punch this very minimal makeup look. And then just so you can see it in a different light. Yeah, it's, it's a tinted lip. So that's all I get, get so yeah that's the look I get my bond so that's the look I gotta get my behind to work hope y'all be good work your eight work your ten work your 12 and get on till the weekend peace positive people